just say now that chapter five already kicks off differently than its original predecessor than the original game. So, and the way it does that is that in Rebirth, so the ship itself in Rebirth is a cruise ship, right? It's like a vacation ship that's meant to take these vacationers to this beach town of Costa del Sol. And Costa del Sol, of course, does exist in the original game. And I think we were mentioning this, it's like in Rebirth, they talk about it being some repurposed like Shinra warship or something like that. But either way, the vibe on this ship is totally different than the vibe in the original seven game, right? Because in original seven, the ship is a Shinra like Navy ship. It has no vacationers. There's no like fun music or fun games. There's obviously no Queen's Blood tournament because that's not in original seven. It's just Navy and trooper personnel working on this kind of Navy ship. And since Cloud is conveniently still in his trooper uniform in the original game, he blends right in. And in the original game, this is actually the first moment where you see Aerith and Tifa in trooper uniforms and then Barrett in his sailor uniform, which they must have put on, I guess, in the original game for the sole purpose of blending in on this ship. So in Rebirth, obviously, we see that in the previous chapter, but it doesn't happen until here in the original. Yeah, there were some disjoint things there, and I'll call one out later when we get to the point about the monsters attacking. But yeah, you're right. And the thing is, like, the first thing that came to mind was Casino Boat. And I know it, it was not a casino boat, but it just so, felt like a casino boat. When you say casino boat, are you talking like just cruise ship in general or like a day cruise? Like, I don't know, because like I've been on a few different cruises with family and whatnot, and... I remember Carnival Cruise Lines felt like a casino on water, and that's how I referenced it. Are you talking about like that? That's exactly what I mean. I've never been on one of those type of cruise ships, like a okay. Carnival or Royal Caribbean or anything like that. But I did. This was many, many years ago in one of like my first real jobs. They did like this team building event. So I was living in Texas at the time, right? And gambling is illegal there, right? So in order for you to gamble there, there were these casino boats. And so basically, it was like a very large boat, not as big as one of those Carnival Cruise Lines, but... About the size of the one in this game that we're talking about here in chapter five, right? Was it like a day boat or did you stay overnight on it? No, no, it was a day boat. Okay. But it has a casino in it, obviously. They call it a booze cruise, right? right? Like, remember in The Office, the booze cruise episode? Yeah. Being the kind of boss that's always trying to teach people things, sometimes you have to just be the boss of dancing. Well, I don't, I don't watch that show, but what? I know but I know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, wait. I know you're going to say something Ernest, about this paper company. You watch everything and you don't watch The Office. It's like so, the greatest show. The humor just doesn't... Not, see, here's the thing. My wife loves that show. Because it's awesome. When she would watch it, of course, I'd be around and I'd see it. And I just like the humor just got to me. I don't know why. But I do have a favorite character in the show, though, even though I don't like the show. What is it? It's, it's Stanley. I want to own a decommissioned lighthouse. And I want to live at the top. And nobody knows I live there. And there's a button that I can press and launch that lighthouse into space. The way he rolls his eyes yeah. is just like, it's priceless. He's awesome. But anyway, like it's like that. It's a big boat. It's usually like four floors or stories. And then they'll have like a restaurant. Music, little dance floor. Music with a bar. So it's the same exact thing, right? So you, yeah. you get on this casino boat and the deal is it has to go out into international water. Oh, in Texas, you mean? So that you can gamble? Exactly. So it goes out into international water and then it pretty much just parks itself. Oh, like, interesting. As soon as they cross the international water line. Then everybody just starts slot machines. The whole and... thing fires up and it's a full on casino in there and everybody's having a good time. Huh. Drinks are flowing. And so like, I'm not the biggest casino person. I'll go every couple of years. Yeah, and they're not my thing. They're not my thing. I Again, this was a work trip. So like, I don't know how they got this idea. Well, but... that's what they do on the office. It's a work yeah, trip there too. Exactly. And when we went into this chapter five, it reminded me so much of that boat, just like the vibe, like the music. And I guess a tournament is kind of like a... It's kind of casino-esque in a way. Yeah. yeah. It feels very similar. So, so for me, I just like dubbed it the casino boat chapter. Yeah, I think you described it perfectly. I think this is basically the casino boat chapter, right? Which is totally different from the original game like we were saying right when it comes to the original game you don't actually spend a lot of time on the ship in the original game so they clearly just like the myth mine they expanded this chapter out mm -hmm. significantly also in the original game it's worth pointing out that rufus is on board the ship as well and you kind of see him through a window him and heidegger and since the vibe is just totally different in the original game then Rebirth, because Rebirth is casino boat and original game is standard like Navy ship, right? The music is also different. 
although it's likely recognizable to you if you listen to the Rebirth music from these newer games nonetheless. It's just different scenes. So everything's just kind of done with a totally different vibe in this one.